Church, this is Maria Levitsky here, and I'm going to bring you a word from Divine Designs Women's Ministry here at Eagle's Nest. Uh, we have uh, three core values that we practice, and that's worship, connect, and serve. And I'm going to bring you a word on connection and actually on fellowship and why that's important to us and how we go about securing that. So um, God tells us in 1 John chapter 1, verses 6 to 7, it says, If we say that we have fellowship with him and we walk in darkness, we lie. And we do not practice the faith. But if we talk, excuse me, if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. So God is telling us that in like-mindedness, that's those who have faith in Jesus Christ, uh, we will come together as Christians in relationship with one another. And he wants us to do that. He wants us to go beyond um, the relationship we have with Jesus and carry that out here with one another to encourage and, and to lift each other. So in Our Lady's Eagle's Nest um, ministry, we do a few things here to make that happen. So ladies, pay attention in case there's something here that interests you and you would like to attend that event. And so in November, we have a ladies' coffee house. And this is a time when we bring together ladies. Generally, we have a testimony. We have done other things, but testimonies tend to uh, secure the message that through Jesus Christ, God has done wonders and works in someone's life. And it, it's an encouraging message. Uh, during that event, we offer desserts and coffee and tea. We do praise worship. In January, we have an, an evening called Soup and Slippers. And if you like laughing or having fun, Definitely is a time to come together at Soup and Slippers. We have what it what it even notes here, soup, but we have sandwiches and desserts and we have fun activities. In April, we have sometimes a full day or even an overnight event, a women's retreat or conference. Uh, that is in the works, so we're just, uh, can't speak any more to any details on that. In the summertime, that is actually under construction and we're deciding how we want to uh, planned for an event in the summer months. Uh, come in fall, in September, we tend to get together for a ladies golf event. And trust me, there is no skill needed because I have none. In fact, I bring what I think they call handicaps to the golf course. But it's a time we just come in a great opportunity to encourage each other when we're just swatting that ball all the way out to the left or to the right or we're chipping it to the green. We also have an event um, that's called Bunko, and Bunko is usually held in someone's house, and we have tables where we sit around, we play a particular game, but of course, just like anything else, there's food and laughter and just a good time to be had by all. So ladies, I just want to encourage you to consider fellowshipping uh, with one another because it builds the spirit and it brings the message of love and unity, which God wants us to bring. It brings a message of encouragement uh, especially at times when we need one another. And so fellowship, it really comes out of this obedience to God's word. And God asks us, women and men alike, that we are to be in fellowship with him, the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, but be in fellowship with like-minded Christians. That's you and I. So one thing that I, I, I noticed that in some of my readings that God wants us to be yoked together with believers so we can strive to work together to glorify God. In the end, we're glorifying God. And so um, in glorifying God, we work also to achieve common purposes. And that is told to us in Acts 2, 44. It says, now all who believed were together and had all things in common. Well, church, this is why we fellowship with one another. And be blessed, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm.